Now, this winter would have been even more dire without all the solar that's been added to the grid over the past year. That's according to analysis by energy think tank Ember. They found that South Africa over the last 12 months alone imported 4 gigawatts of solar panels from China. This is an increase of 438% compared to the same period last year. Electricity Minister Jose Enzo Ramachopa says the warmer temperatures are making it difficult for some generating units to perform optimally. He says this is resulting in load losses that are totaling nearly 6,000 megawatts over the past few days. So let's unpack all of that data, let's unpack all of the numbers, let's unpack the impact of the weather with Nicholas Folgum. He is Energy and Climate Data Analyst at Ember, and he joins us uh, this morning from Istanbul. A, a very good morning to you, uh, Nicholas. I I'm going to ask with, with what maybe seems a little bit of an odd question. Our assumption is that in the winter months when it's cold, that's when there is a stress um, you know, on, on the grid and, and the system, and that's when you'd expect there to be problems. But our electricity minister says that the warmer temperatures are actually affecting the grid. How so? There are many uh, ways that the grid can be impacted by temperatures. Um, warm temperatures can affect certain units, um, but cold temperatures can, can do the same. What's important is that um, South Africa has the generating capacity available to it to supply um, whatever demand there is. And uh, we think that with the huge influx of, of solar panels that have been installed over the last uh, year to 18 months, uh, the South African grid is in a better place than it would be if, um, if those solar panels hadn't been installed. Let's look at the power plants and the state of our power plants and their ability to, to generate uh, units. There have been calls, some of them have been decommissioned, there have been calls for others to be recommissioned and, and put back into activities so that they're able to contribute to uh, the grid or the power matrix, uh, so, so to speak. What are, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, South Africa is definitely in a, in a tricky situation. Um, there are other countries that have faced similar issues. We've seen uh, similar problems in Australia as well, where an aging coal fleet is struggling to maintain its, its output at the same level. Um, and that's really where a rapid buildup of renewables can be, can be incredibly helpful in, in um, South Africa regaining both its energy independence, but also just reliable, uh, clean and cheap electricity directly provided to consumers. Um, yeah. Your standpoint um, has largely been that coal needs to go. Um, and that there needs to be a move to, to cleaner energy, such as solar and, and, and wind. Where is South Africa placed as far as this transition is concerned? And is this a one-size-fits-all? Is this a strategy that could work for South Africa as well? And are we even ready for that? Yes, yeah, South Africa is certainly, I'd characterize it as being in the starting blocks. Um, obviously, a huge amount of uh, electricity in the South African grid is still produced by coal power. Um, it is, but at the same time, really well placed to take advantage of wind and solar power. The natural resources um, that South Africa has, especially sunshine, really consistently throughout the year, really put it in a good spot to take advantage of that. Um, and you can see that by uh, South Africans having been having installed uh, having installed um, nearly triple the amount of capacity of solar that was installed just a year ago directly onto rooftops. So um, consumers are already taking it into their own hands um, and it's it really up to, up to the government to drive this transition forward. South Africa has imported a large number of solar panels from China, um, as we've reported earlier on, and that has increased uh, the capacity to 438% comparatively. As far as solar panels are, are concerned, do you believe that it's something that can actually be, you know, generated and produced in, in South Africa as well, uh, so that they don't have to be imported, but that the country also has a manufacturing uh, capability? Yeah, the global transition to renewable electricity is, is progressing so fast that this pie, this share of manufacturing is growing. And there are many countries that are now getting in, uh, getting in on this race, uh, India, um, Brazil, but South Africa has also recently commissioned uh, new manufacturing capacity just within, directly within South Africa. So from solar power, you're already getting the benefit once those panels are in your country. 
um, they will produce homegrown, clean, renewable electricity uh, for, for decades to come. But yeah, South Africa can certainly take the next step and, and produce that locally as well. Well, thank you so much uh, for your time and your input in this regard. Uh, that was Nicholas Folgum, Energy and Climate Data Analyst at Amber. A huge, over 400% uh, input into, into the solar panels. They're certainly hoping it will make a difference, a difference that we will all be able to feel.